Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm going to share with you what I am packing on my trip to New Orleans, as well as some new glasses that I got. I'm one of those I overpack people, but I'm gonna also try to downsize in some other areas. I'm trying the more minimalist way, which is like the normal people way. I'm just stuck in my ways of overpacking. I don't know what to tell you. So first things first, I will bring my contacts with me because I have non-prescription sunglasses that I personally prefer wearing, and I'm also going to bring my regular glasses. So that's why both things made it on the list because I may be wearing contacts uh, when I leave in the morning. I don't know, it depends on how my eyes feel. I'm just going to take this little guy because it's an over the body and I know I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking and probably a lot by myself. So I definitely want to have something that's like very across my body that I can have close to me. I'm actually going with my brother for an interview for him. So it's like a fun trip for me. I got a couple days off work so I can enjoy myself and I'm just gonna you know, hit up some crystal shops. Uh, maybe stop in the art museum. I have to see if it's gonna be worth my while slash if I'll have time to. So briefly I'm gonna go over a couple things that I think are necessities when traveling. Um, just a little bit of hand lotion. So this is like a powdery lavender scent. It's called Moonlight Path from Bath & Body Works. It's just a small travel size lotion. Something I'm just gonna chuck in my, not my purse, but like my backpack. I'm also going to pack um, some Pepsids because I'm not used to spicy food and I might end up getting like spicy seafood and stuff. And this is just a safe thing to have. I'm also gonna be packing Advil uh, and also my prescription for my migraines. Also the basics, deodorant, toothbrush, toothpaste, whole nine yards. I'm only gonna be there for like a two days, day and a half-ish. I'm gonna take a couple cotton rounds and I'm gonna see if I can dispense my Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner in my bag with me, only because I've started breaking out a little bit and I just don't wanna have time away from it because I'm like battling my skin right now. And kind of on the things I think are important, um, some form of sunscreen. This is a sample that I just had from Sephora is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I know I'm gonna be out and about, so I definitely wanna bring this. I'm gonna see if I can find some standard sunscreen. So those are some of the basics. So now I'm gonna move on to my glasses for a little bit. So I did get my glasses from Fermu. You guys have known, I've had like over a year with them where, it's been over two years, I feel like now, where I've just intermittently got some glasses from them in exchange for kind of a mention. Um, I wouldn't have kept doing it if I didn't like them. It's not like some kind of contracted thing. I just, I really like the glasses. I've had good experiences with it. I've had family that's used it. They've had good experiences. So it just kind of, it's a good deal. So I'm just gonna reference my computer for a second so I can reference the frame and the sizing and all of that jazz. So the glasses that I got are the DPSN 62304. I'll have it on the screen as well as in the description. I know that was a bit of a mouthful. I ended up getting these in the tortoiseshell design, which you'll see better in a closer up view, but it also comes in black, it comes in clear if you're wanting to do that and you just like the frame shape, and it also comes in like this kind of black and pink floral pattern, which is pretty cool. As far as sizing and everything goes, I got the 52 across, 42 down. That is usually around the size that I like. Sometimes I'll go a little bit longer but something I noticed with my clear pair of glasses that I got from them, which I bought actually by myself, they didn't send me those, I bought those, which you may not know because I have got three pair of clear glasses that look pretty similar each time I got new prescriptions, but the most recent pair I did buy. Um, and they were a, a bit longer and I kind of have like smiley cheeks that like pop up a little bit and I kept getting my foundation on the bottom, which is not a big deal, but I decided to go with something a little bit shorter so that would happen less often. It's pretty simple to order online. All you have to do is create an account put your prescription in. It's very self-explanatory. It's super simple. I don't even feel the need to really go through it in that much detail. It's very self-explanatory. Uh, you do have this really cool feature where it's like you can upload a picture of yourself and you try to get like a straight on one and you can like try the glasses on and it's actually pretty accurate. Uh, and I've gone through and I've looked at other pairs of glasses I've had from them throughout the past and they, yeah, they just actually do look like that on you, which is a cool feature. But yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. So if you guys do want to purchase a pair of your own, I'll have a link directly in the description. It'll be the first line. And I do have some little cards that they gave me with some coupon codes on there. And they're all gonna be the same code. It is for 50% uh, off and it ends December 31st of 2018. So the code is D4A2B. So if you're interested in that, also be down there in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and just go through what I have in my purse or what I'm planning on bringing. I'm kinda gonna do like a little declutter with this, take out unnecessary receipts, taking out lip gloss. I'm really not gonna need that. I'm only going to need chapstick, which I will keep in there. Matches I'll keep in there. It's one of those things that I like to have in my purse. I have this very, very close to empty NARS concealer. It's the soft matte one. Then I have my wallet. I have some nail clippers. That's another thing I like to take with me traveling. I have some stray bobby pins in here and far too many hair ties. I like the little 
uh, foam cord kind, and I have a little satin one for sleep. So I'll go ahead and keep all of those in there. Then I have a little travel hand sanitizer and my prescription's going back in here too. I felt like I was gonna declutter that a lot more than I did. I also have a Bite Agave lip mask that I did not realize was hiding in that pocket. So I'll go ahead and I'll keep that in there instead of the Burt's Bees little chapstick. Um, I have a couple dollars. New Orleans, there's a lot of valet parking because there's nowhere to park. So I'll need to be tipping. So I'll just go ahead and keep that in my purse just for an emergency. And yeah, that's all there is for that. Also super, super minimal like makeup bag. I'm gonna put that sunscreen in here. I'm gonna put a full version of that same concealer I just mentioned. I'm gonna do eyelash curlers, a brow brush, some powder. This is the Laura Mercier one and mascara. And that's it. I lied. My eyeshadow, which I use in my brows. This is Urban Decay Tees. Then as far as additional packing goes, I am going to try to find my smaller mirror, but if I can't, this is one I'm going to have to bring. And I have my light, which I should have been using for filming. And I like this just for getting ready in dark, darkly lit rooms. Right now I have my um, Laneige moisturizer, moisturizer, um, but I'm going to just use a sample of something else that I have. I just have this here to remind myself to bring one in general. I'm also gonna bring a face wash, and then I'm just gonna bring a day's change of clothes, a pair of pajamas, and because I have curly hair, I can't brush my hair on the daily, so I'm not gonna bring a brush, and just some hair ties, and that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm gonna bring like a book or two. I usually keep one or two in my car. Right now, I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo in there, and I have a Colleen Hoover book. I think it was one of her more recent ones. And, and then of course chargers. These are things that, again, are like such necessities that almost go without saying. An additional thing that is not necessarily in the realm of necessities is I'm going to go ahead and bring some kind of notebook and a pen with me. And something additional, if I cannot find my in-ear headphones, I am gonna go ahead and bring these, my Marshalls, because it'll be good on the road to cancel out a little bit of noise, not a ton, but a little. Uh, and I also kind of need ASMR to sleep, which leads me to possibly renew my iPad. I have not decided yet. I just don't like bringing expensive things with me on road trips. And my goal is to get it all in just inside my old uh, school backpack that I haven't used since my friend's wedding. That's where this went. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. I will have some more book oriented videos coming at you a little bit later. And I'm prepping for Vlogmas. I haven't actually said that in a video yet. I've commented it to a few people. And if you stuck around this long, which probably most of you haven't, um, you're in the know now, you know? But I do hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe you will catch the vlog from this weekend. I think if anything, I'll just vlog lightly, maybe not heavily, and do like a short little video. So look forward to that. I will see you guys later.